Hello and welcome to Beck's Bug Out Survivor and for a while I've been looking for a little rain shelter but the parameters had to be pretty precise had to be lightweight had to be very compact and extremely portable and I found something that fit all them parameters there and it's not that dear either it's mostly for my super lightweight uh, camping setup which I'm, I'm a hammock camper and I don't need such a big tarp just for summer and spring so I'll show you what I found it's not that expensive and yet it's super lightweight I've got you a rain poncho to show you and it packs just into the cargo pocket here and I have a stuff sack for it it's very generous I could get about another five ponchos to this stuff sack so it, it allows me to put in say tent stakes and extra cordage it's a 210 T uh, ripstop nylon now when we're talking about the T it's the thread count and that's how many threads are weaved both um, vertically and horizontally in a weave per square inch so we've got 210 threads per square inch here and it is ripstop nylon it's incredibly lightweight just 340 grams for this and when I was looking for super lightweight kit to go with my super lightweight hammock hang system uh, this really fit the bill 20 quid off eBay so uh, it's going to be an unbranded generic kind of uh, poncho but still it is ideal I'm going to throw it up and we'll have a quick look at it a couple of lightweight tent stakes and some cordage I have two larger cordage here which will be for head foot and two smaller ones for side tie outs we're going to have a look at the sizes of it in a minute because it is ideal just for a hammock hang And I haven't put it up in its ASIM configuration. I've just put it in its short side, which would be my windbreak. We'll put it in the ASIM in a minute or two, which would be the configuration I use for a hammock. Just a trucker's hitch on one side. The grommets aren't that strong, they look pretty cheap, but I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on the actual cordage coming along here we have however got very easy to use snap buttons which are anti-rust like I said we've got a ripstop nylon which is 210 thread count there the seams are all taped this is the hood and I'm just going to do the hood up from the outside and it's just a simple case of doing the toddle up which is far easier than my other poncho that I've been using which is a whole lot heavier than this and a lot bulkier to pack as you saw this just fit into my cargo pocket very easily so it doesn't even have to go into your pack if I have a cargo pocket that's where I keep it if, if it gets to the stage as a rain shower it's going to be very easy just to uh, get out the pack I can leave the cordage and the pegs in my pocket along with the stuff sack and just snap it down the side open the hood put it on only a few seconds and I'm gonna pitch this out just as a windbreak just as if I was just going to make a nice brew or something like that in the woods Well, it didn't take long at all to put this up. 
and I've got myself a nice little windbreak. Now the dimensions of this. A one meter five by two meters. So in its two meter configuration, I've got enough length to lie down and it'll cover me head to foot just in this configuration here if I'm a ground dweller or I could even put it in an apex like that. Let's have a look at where the grommets are placed. Obviously on the corners one, one in the centre, two and the other on the other corner. But I like to hammer kang, so we're going to stretch it out now just by switching this cordage here coming all the way down to the other grommet there. It's as simple as that and that will give us an ASIM configuration. So this is up in its ASIM configuration ready for a hammock. Not quite the diamond configuration because it's not a square top therefore you're not going to get a diamond. What you're going to get is one wing which is over more to the right and one wing more over to the left which is going to suit ASIM hammock side sleepers where you sleep on the diagonal. Okay so putting this up corner to corner and getting it into an ASIM configuration there is changed the span one and a half meters by two meters but now I have a span of 2.5 meters two and a half meters using Pythagoras theorem there so uh, an ideal little span just for my hammock and which it comes end to end of my hammock that's more or less the exact length there's no extra whittle room to play with so it is going to be for light summer showers maybe springtime something like that and again I haven't got anything pulled too tight I'm only relying on these little cheap grommets now when I was looking for lightweight rain shelters for my hammock I found one that was about 50 quid 48.99 something like that um, and it was a lot bigger, it was 11 and a half foot by 10 foot, uh, so a lot bigger. And that was coming in at 360 grams. And I was going to pull the trigger on that, I thought that was a good deal. Certainly give you more rain coverage. But this is 340 grams, which is 20 grams lighter, but then again it's a lot smaller. Like I said, my other one. It's got to be four times heavier than this, but it's a lot thicker. But I didn't like the colour, it didn't blend in. I had to change it out, and this is what I changed it out to. The colour is a beautiful dark OD colour, olive drab. Here's the hood up here. It's all closed off. And in my hammock, I would do something like take my glasses off, take things out my pocket, my keys, and I'd pop them in that hood and it acts like a pocket. Glasses in there, like that. Keys, you can get that up and into there also. Just in fact, anything you want that would fit in there. This would fit quite a lot of things. Now I could actually roll this up into its hood and forego the stuff sack if you want to go super lightweight. Um, a little anal for me that I, I don't actually mind the weight of the stuff sack but this I think is a little winner so just a quick update really of my kit because I want to go down the road of being a hell of a lot lighter especially with my hammock gear and 340 grams there is ideal for my kind of camping now I think the hammock I'm using is somewhere around 360 grams so 
a similar kind of weight to the tarp. Now I could actually choose to keep all the cordage on that as it is if I'm solely going to use it for purposes of a rain shelter. I'd just twine the uh, cordage up and tie them to the corners. If you want to be multi-purpose and have this as a poncho then it will work as a poncho but I personally would take that cordage off because it's going to get caught up in the foliage and the bracken and the leaves and just make things unnecessarily difficult. It only takes a minute or so just to thread the cordage on using uh, locks head hitches so there's no knots tied in it I have to undo so I could do this with cold hands. Okay we're gonna have a look at it now how I'd wear it in its poncho configuration but first I am going to take the cordage off. It's pretty stealthed in and if I'm just walking past like this I'd have to double take Okay, now I can actually wear it in the rain shower. It's very, very warm as well. You're only going to need a t-shirt with this if you're walking in it or hiking or trekking. So these are the pop studs here, like that. Pretty easy to do up and I think there's three or four in total. Just snap them together all the way down. Of course, you may choose to want to keep these snap buttons done on a more permanent level and if I was to marry it up with a belt around my waist I have a really nice raincoat which would come just up to the top of my thigh with a belt on but without the belt it'll drop a lot lower almost to your lower shin but it's quite a versatile little number this I can use it for pitching a hammock going under it as a shelter for a bivvy and also to wear it so I'm not carrying uh, the weight of an extra rain jacket which is what I like oh wow roasting in this absolutely roasting of course it doesn't just have to be for shelter and rain protection it has a lot of other uses I could spread this out on the ground although I'm not going to in this circumstance to use as a ground sheet so if there are damp conditions I could just simply uh, I could simply just stretch that out as you also saw it can be used in a variety of uh, configurations as a rain shelter obviously I can use it uh, as a poncho and I can also use it like a drape as well, like a cape and just put two of the fast studs and I have a large cape uh, nice to put into a ninja configuration where it's tied to a tree on one corner and then staked out on the other and that gives you a really nice windproof shelter for the whole evening now I've just loose filled it for now and you can see it has a sewn in rounded base some are just sewn flat across here but I can actually squash all the air out of this and make it super flat like that so I'm going to put in some pack dimensions now first of all it's pack length and it's pack width So there you have it and mine is going straight back into my cargo pocket with the tent stakes and cordage in. That's all the room it has to take up. 340 grams is nothing in the pack but now I haven't even got 340 grams in the pack. It's in my pocket. So that is about it for me. I've been wanting to purchase this for uh, a few weeks and I've done a lot of shopping around trying to get the pack weight balanced uh, with the type of poncho it is I required it's 210 uh, thread count which is about the same as your hammock 
it's the bare minimum I'd want, by the way. Uh, I'd go up to about 240. The dimensions are two meters by one and a half meters. It's 340 grams. All the seams have been taped. Um, and it only just comes with the stuff sack itself, by the way, and the poncho itself. You're not going to get the tent stakes and cordage I put them in. But I think it's a little winner. When I said before I was looking for a much larger top and I found one, uh, 11 and a half foot by 10 foot, and that was 360 grams. Pretty good, pretty big for its uh, size. That had a massive 20,000 uh, millimeters of hydrostatic head the, the waterproof coating that they spray onto it uh, that is massive this only has 2000 okay so it is going to be for light showers such as spring and summer so when i consider anything when i'm measuring its hydrostatic head i generally choose about a thousand mil of hydrostatic head per season so for summer I'd want a minimum, bare minimum of a thousand. That would be pretty poor. Two thousand uh, would be for spring and summer. Three thousand, again, you're going to include fall with that. And of course, bare minimum, four thousand millimeters of, of hydrostatic head you'd want for the winter. I generally like to pile on a little more hydrostatic head. To be honest with you, I would have loved to have seen maybe 3,000 mil of hydrostatic head on that poncho, but you're going to increase it, its bulk doing that, and its volume, and its weight. So ultralight camping, a pocket-sized rain shelter for 20 quid off eBay, and I have shopped around for other ponchos, and. That was just about the best I could find. I will put the link, obviously, in the description down below if you want to purchase this particular one or one similar. It comes in a range of different colours as well, and I'm not sure if camo is one of them. I know black is, and this lovely dark olive that you saw is going to be great. So I hope we gain some intel from that. Until next time, take care of yourself. Stay dry. And happy trails.